Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. I hear the pitter patter of little feet upstairs. I do not know who it is. We are headed out this morning. Gabby spent the night at uh, Kaylee's house, but you know what's amazing? Gabby and Kaylee woke up this morning and then FaceTime Sophie, it's what they do. They play whatever game they're playing and they FaceTime each other while they're playing it. So usually Gabby and, K and Sophie are at home and they FaceTime Kaylee, but Gabby and Kaylee FaceTime Sophie. Like, they're so good to her. She's a little bit younger, but she totally fits them. And they always treat her so nice. All of the group treats Sophie is so kind, even though she's younger. Yesterday, the craziest thing happened. Uh, I was so stunned that I didn't get time to, to, to video it. I wish I had videoed it. It was unbelievable. So basically, this is what happened. See the corner of this field right here? After camp, we did a little bit of shopping and we got home right at horse supper time. It was like maybe even half an hour early before supper time, but the horses were hungry. They were hungry and when we got home, we came from this direction instead of that direction. And when we got home, I was looking in the field. We always drive along the road. I always watch them in the field and I was like, oh, they're hungry. Finn was standing at the gate patiently, sort of waiting to be led in to be fed and Storm was standing in this corner, the opposite end of the gate and he had his body completely erect and he was staring at the road. He was staring at this end of the road, the side of the road that we always come, in, that we often come home in. He knew it was supper time and he knew that we were in our car somewhere. Like, how, how did he know? They must watch everything. He knew we were in the car and he was standing there and he was staring down the road waiting for us to come home. And as soon as we started to turn into the driveway and he saw our car, we didn't get out or anything. He just saw our car pull into the driveway. He he did a big huge happy dance of a circle and then he galloped to the gate I mean I've never seen the horse run so fast in my life thanks there goes his therapy his chiropractic treatment probably but he had galloped to the gate and we were all like this just watching him and Gabby wasn't here to see him but it was unbelievable I've never seen anything like it he galloped to that gate so fast his ears flat back he just was flying to the gate and we were like freaking out because we thought there was no way he's gonna stop in time but he did he stopped in time on the grass and was waiting patiently at the gate for us when we got there but oh my gosh so incredible to see to be able to see the intelligence of a horse he knew we he knew it was supper time he knew we were coming home he knew our van he knew what it meant when we came home and he raced to the gate because he trusted us to come and feed him it was beautiful amazing incredible i feel so blessed to be able to have our horses at home and to see that but anyway now that i told you the story let's get on with the video <laughs> to shop don't you uh, she does not like money. to buy clothes yeah she just likes to spend money her own money and she wants to buy the stuff that she likes the best and how many of you guys can relate to that these are super cool it's a pocket and you wear it like a wristband and it's a pocket you can carry your money I really like that I wish they'd make one bigger for your phone Ooh, squishy ball that's cool Aw, family of you, giraffes. Me. And yeah. Gabby. Yeah, that's amazing. You getting your new phone today? Wow. What color are you getting? They don't have yours. Are you getting a different one? Well, hopefully they have yours. Sophie's getting hers. Oh well, red is nice. You want to get the blue one, right? The green one, 
that. Sophie's I'm been trying really hard to keep her face clean every single day when we go outside, and she's doing such a good job, but just this little dimple of dirt right there. Whoa. It's hard, I know. Keeping your face clean is like the hardest thing. So Sophie's getting an iPhone 11 today. Oh. Sophie is trading in her phone, and what's gonna happen? I'm getting a red phone. And what's gonna happen with you trading in your phone? Um, I have a hundred dollars to spend here in the store. So we're looking around to see what she could buy. What would you guys buy? Wait, what did I Dad tell? If there's a wireless charger that I should get. But you also said, what else did Dad say? You should put what? That I should that I should get him to put the screen protector on. Yeah, because. Him because his dad is kind of messes up with the screen protector yeah. glass, huh? I trust you more than dad. Oh no, I can't do it. We're still at the mall. We're in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm videoing in the bathroom. It's kind of creepy, but nobody else is in here, just me and Sophie. Um, they're still waiting to get Sophie's phone, and I realized that I needed to finish Jacob's birthday shopping, so I got him exactly what I was looking for. Got him. I got him two outfits to go with the toy that I bought him. So his birthday's coming up on October the 14th. See the him, them at Thanksgiving. Come on, wash your hands. You put your light on, you put it down. Oh, that's super cool. Is that your new phone? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Happy almost birthday. Oh, so that's your kid. Yeah. You ready for me to start singing? Yep, yeah, start I'm singing. Good. That's okay. I'm singing better in the shower because we're going to Love it. Did we get the same number? Four. Oh my gosh. So our numbers, we have all the exact same phone number except for Sam's last number is one. Mine is two. Gabby's is three and Sophie's is four. Right, so we just played a prank on Gabby. Gabby's still at Kaylee's house? We are. We did yeah, play a prank. So we sent her a message that said, Hi, I'm your biggest fan. Your mom gave me your number. I'm a boy. And she wrote, Who is this? Did you write, Please answer? So, like a good girl, like her mama taught her, she's not talking to boys. Yeah. You think that she would figure out that this phone number is exactly the same as hers, except for the last number has changed, and then oh, she'd no. figure it out. But yeah, yeah, like a good girl, she's ignoring you. She's ignoring you. Can I call her? Oh my god, we'll call her when we get to the car. Not yet. No, we'll, I want to call her. No, we'll call her when we get to the car. She finally texted back, and she wrote, what did she wrote? Right. Wrong, really? wrong number. She said wrong number. Such a good girl. Who is this? Who is this? Wrong number. Wrong number. Just wait. Let's keep going. She wrote back, I'm a hockey player. Sorry. Her and Kaylee are probably freaking out. Is this Gabby? And she said no. And I said, your mom said you could use a boyfriend. Here. She's probably freaking okay. out. Oh my god. No. She's phoning me. She's calling me. Bye. Thank you. What? Just wait. Give me one minute. What's the matter? No. I, what, who would I give her number to? A boyfriend? Like a boy is... A boy is texting you? This is my voice. I, I, this is my voice. How could you not know my voice? Well, I, I'm shopping, so I don't know how I would do that. Who would I give her number to? I keep everything private. What did they say? You said they said they're your biggest fan? Oh my gosh. You called it? You called them? Don't call them. You think I'm lying? I Think about it, Gabby. Do you think I'd actually give somebody your phone number? Oh my God. Kaylee's going to call them? Oh my God. Don't call them. Hey, so you call them, call them quick. Call them before they call you. Hurry up and then disguise your voice. Put it on speakerphone. Hello, I need to be a door. Call them. So they, Sylvie called them while I was talking. No, Look at the number, Gabby. Look at the number. Do you not notice that it's exactly the same number as yours? It's your number, but with a, with a four at the end. I know. But we had you going for a few minutes. 
Um, I got a new phone and I got a phone number and I got data. What kind of phone number? Um, 11. 11. iPhone 11. What? And I got it in red. It's her birthday. Yeah. Gabby didn't want Gabby didn't want the new one. Because she wanted a special thing. We nailed it, sort of. If Gabby said Sophie had to listen to me, instead of going off half cocked and phoning her so fast, no, we would have no, pulled Gabby it. Phoned me. Oh, she phoned you. Oh, okay. So it wasn't Sophie's fault after all. But yeah. That's so funny. That was amazing. That would have been a perfect plan if people would wait and be patient and let me pull it off the way I want. Thank you guys so much for my new phone. You're welcome. This is Sophie's new phone, you guys. Look at it. You can't tell. It looks orange, but it's a hot pink case. It looks like it glows in the dark. And it's red. Yeah, and her phone is red. But anyway, if you do finish off our um, Thanksgiving Day photo area, we need some of these. Have a 99 a bunch. That's dumb. And half a bale of straw is $10. What do these? $7.99. Forget that. Yeah, we can get it for five bucks. Since today is all about Sophie, we are going to her favorite place. Where are we, Sophie? I want ice dairy. to get ice cream. picked our girl Gabby up. Hey Gabby. And we are headed home and I'm going to try and catch Storm. Hopefully he's like standing there waiting Hi. for us again. Yeah, no, I don't mean catch him, catch him. Um, but hopefully he is there and he's going to gallop again. But anyway, the bad thing about our new paddock is that everybody that we know literally drives by and sees him, sees the, can see the horses. And I get texts all the time and they're like, hey, Storm rolled. Good luck with that. Or I'll Fiona, or Fiona drove by and she's like, "Hi, I just saw your horses outside." And I'm like, "Oh, great, yeah, I'm like that's fabulous." <laughs> so I'm always getting some random text from somebody who drives by and see our horses. Where are they? Aww. They're at the gate. Oh my God! Look at your horse. He's white. Um, he <laughs> wanted to be a Appaloosa. Like, <laughs> look at his face. You guys, remember that time there was no mud in the paddock and then Sam threw some dirt in there? Yeah, well, that's what happens. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even see it that good. Storm, you're covered in mud. Covered. <laughs> in the mud puddle you made him. Look it, there's even marks. Yeah, it's it's yeah, that's so great Sam. That was amazing of you to make a mud pit for the horses. That's great. Look at that. He likes that. Yeah, he likes it. Chores. Nighttime chores. Do any of you guys remember when we used to do shopping Saturday? Well that's what today was. It was a shopping day. We ended up getting a bunch of stuff that we needed. Um I found these in the car in my van. I know I bought them a long time ago in case I needed them. So I brought those down to the barn. And also I have these scissors. They are from Pampered Chef and they work so good. So Gabby made me order another pair so that we could leave them down at the barn. I never want a day to go by where I don't see the horses so I can make sure that they're perfect. Like that girl. Hi. Wow, Stella. You been rolling? You been rolling? Hello. Gracie, oh my gosh, Gracie. Oh my gosh. Well, it is mud season. Cutest little nose. So the person that messaged me and said, hey, your horse rolled really bad. Yeah, they were right. Hello. Wow. That is what you call dirty as heck. Stella gets dirtier. Yeah, Stella's dirty Stella too. Is dirtier. Oh, I don't know. He looks. <laughs> Are you grooming him? Grooming him with your phone? 
No, there's a lot of dust and a lot of dirt. All right, Stella Bell. Hi, hi, pretty lady. Oh my goodness, Stella. Holy. Oh my goodness. They go to so much trouble to groom themselves. Oh. And then we come along every night and ungroom them. This is a part of our nighttime routine because one time we went to look at a farm and honestly, the horses were so dirty and so matted that they had burrs so bad in their manes that you couldn't even touch them. When you touch their head, they freaked out. And there was no picking them out because we tried, even though they weren't our horses. Yeah, you'd have to shave it all off. And I just feel like with a little bit of regular maintenance, our horses won't get so bad, even though we don't have burrs. We do have a mud pedal in the boys' paddock now, thanks to Sam. Oh, so any of you guys who thought our camera was dirty before, I bet you it's pretty dusty now. Look at it. Whoa. Uh, oops. All right, horses, we are going up to the house. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, ooh, let me get on your phone. <laughs> well, my AirPods are in that pocket, not my phone. He's like, I don't lot like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see. He almost posted a picture of Storm all muddy <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> that would have been the coolest thing. Our horse it posts a picture on Instagram. <laughs> If you ever find a crazy picture on Instagram of like Gabby's butt or her feet or a half dirty storm, then you know it came from Finn. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.